the Joe Rogan experience. I've had multiple ocean scares now. <clears throat> like the one, the ones where you're like crying on the beach. Well, no, no just why. that like in the moment. Yeah, I keep telling myself, "Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic." You know. Oh. And uh, one, I one I remember was in Hawaii where we rented a a jeep. And we were like, what, we want to go see something, you know? So they tell you, oh, take this road. And it, and it takes you to this single road that goes up where there used to be volcanoes. And we come up on this beach. And they had mentioned the beach, but not really too what? much about it. And so when we parked, I was like, I, I love the ocean water. I'm going to get in the ocean, you know? So I get in the ocean. And I remember that going in, the beach into the water was a decline, right? So, like, you go down. And I was just like knee deep in there about to and and i was like man this current is pulling back hard like really hard and i kind of take like a step back and i i feel myself going further down a decline oh. into the ocean oh. right and when i i i decide to get out i have to really push hard like all legs like boom boom like run like you're running up a hill to get out and i was like that was fucking and that the wave was, hit you there. That was kind of that was that guy who's a WWE Damn. wrestler. They tell me though when I get back to the hotel, they go, I go, yeah, we took. It. I go that that uh, that beach was that was a little scary. They go, did you get in the water? And I go, yeah. And they go, oh, you can't get in that water. They're like you'll drown in that water. No one. No, did you notice there was nobody swimming there? And I go, yeah, I noticed. I thought, it was, I thought, it was <laughs> but I, thought I found a fucking <laughs> Oasis. You know, and they like, don't tell you. They didn't tell me. They're oh, like, fuck. do not oh, swim in that water. They're like, God. you can't swim out of that. If you would like, they're like, if you would swim ten feet in, they're like, you're just gone. Oh what? my God. And like the panic you feel, especially in retrospect, because you remember oh. the feeling of being like, I think I'm stuck here. You know, I think I'm stuck right Fitz now. Fitzsimmons saved a lady in Thailand. Really? What? Yeah, someone was drowning, and Fitzsimmons swam out and saved them. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Thailand. Somewhere crazy like that. Yeah, he was on vacation. I might have made up Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't but, sound, it doesn't sound I like said, a place Fitzsimmons would go. Remember said Thailand? No, he would go. He's a world oh, traveler. No, he's a Hawaii guy. He like, surfs in Hawaii. Where, wherever it was. What? Fitzsimmons went in the ocean and saved a lady. No shit. Yeah. Wow. I saw my dad save a lady. In That's a, a in scary a, in a thing. resort. It was at the bottom of the pool. <gasps> she was just laying at the bottom of the pool. Oh what? my God. When I was like nine years old, it was like father, son. He took me to this resort, and there's a slide. You ever go on a slide where the water that comes off the slide, that like, so in other words, like, like when you hit the water, it's like high impact. You're like, yes. holy shit. Yeah. And it pushes you down. I'm nine years old, so this is many years ago. And I remember like, I could swim. I was on swim team like a, as a little kid, but I remember being like, fuck, that is wow. powerful. Like it pushes you down, right? And you just swim up and we're all, people are, you know, at the resort and then look down and my dad swims to the bottom of the, o to, of the pool and pulls up this <gasps> lifeless body and then they do CPR and she came back. Oh, oh, shut up. Shit. Yeah. And they would write letters to our house Holy for years. Shit. Really? She was 19. Oh my wow. god. She wasn't a little kid. Did you see the guy? Oh my god. The snowboarder upside down when the random skier comes by? Yes. Just sees a yes. snowboard sticking this far out of the snow. Yeah. With, Is this the one two where. Feet? And the, the guy was buried under yeah. the snow. He goes, what the fuck? He stops. He goes saved there. the guy's life randomly. Is this, is this separate? Have you seen the footage where the guy's wearing the GoPro? I've seen that. Right? Yeah. And then he's like, it falls oh, fuck. into the ditch. Into like a hole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That you can, is visceral. That feeling. Oh my you're like, god. <gasps> and then he's just like, we'll see what happens. I, yeah. Obviously, he got out because there's footage. Yeah. But when you're watching that, you're like, "Oh my god, you could just fall in there forever." And apparently, that's something that happens. Tree wells. That's yes. something that happens. So oh. this guy just falls, and then watch this, bro. What? I know yeah. Bert's feeling this. No, I've, I've had Dude. a couple experiences like this. He manages to stop himself. Yeah. Like, what bro. the fuck? How the Bro. fuck do you get out of that? How the fuck do you get out of that? Fuck the skis. How do you oh, it's, get it's, out it's, of that? It's over, Joe. But no, he's at, he's oh, no, no, out. He, they they had to, I think I've read read about this. They had to get search and rescue. He had to hang out down there for a while. Search and rescue had to come up. And, Holy I'm shit! He's more so of those lucky. GPS and do you see though? So, he's so lucky he kept, that he stopped right there. But the way he, he <clears throat> right here, he's not flailing. He's yeah. like putting his arm and his ski out to uh -huh. try to like. So this guy was able to keep some composure as this was happening, <sighs> which is like it. kind of the crazy part oh my god so this is the snowboarder that's buried upside down so this no. guy just sees that little blue piece bro just this, randomly this, ha this happened to me he skied right over him. 
Yeah, he, I mean, he easily could have missed that. that. Yeah, could have gone Dude, the other way. There's not much blue. Soft snow, he's in a tree well is what it is. Yeah. So the tree wells, uh, it's really soft, soft snow. So Look if you get that. stuck in a tree well, you are fucking dead. A lot oh, of people die in tree wells. God damn. Yeah, I'm thinking of getting one of those GPS things. So, uh, when we, went, one. we went uh, snowboarding in Matterhorn, yeah. uh, hella skiing, Oof. and the guy put a beacon on us. And the first thing he said, he puts a beacon, it's like four feet of powder. And he says, uh, this is so we can find the body. And I was like, what? He's like, you might oh, fall into un- a crevasse or an avalanche. So we put the beacon on to find the body. Whoa. You that feeling, this happened to me, that feeling is okay. terrifying. This, this guy's like, thank okay. you. Good. We'll get you out of here in a sec, okay? He was the panic. Dead. The panic. He knew he was I'm dead. I'm feeling so. panic watching this. The he panic. So what dead. happens is, like what happened to me and in, in the when we were heli skiing is I fell face forward in powder. I and we, I just I'd never snow skiing, snowboarding in powder, four feet of powder is very different than snowboarding. It's like you have to have your bindings reset. You have to really know how to ride the powder, and and I could not turn right. And the guy told me he's like, "Don't go within five feet of my tracks. Stay within my tracks." Uh-huh. So the whole time, I can only turn left. Cause I'm, at the time, I really wasn't that good of a snowboarder. And I, but I could snowboard, but not in powder. And so he's going like this, and all I can do is go left, and I'm just going <gasps> off the track. Oh, no. And I'm fucking panicking. We're, but by the way, we're at like 13,000 feet, 14,000 feet. It's very little oxygen. I'm gassed. I'm fat. I'm hungover. It's the day after the national championship that we went to. So we'd eaten edibles. It, it was, was like, the day after that? It was, a, it was the day after that. I flew to fucking, Jesus. I flew to Switzerland and immediately landed and went hella skiing. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. And so, <laughs> no, no, no. When we went to Florida State versus Alabama. Oh, 2013. Uh, uh, yeah, 2013. So... All of a sudden, I go to turn, right. cut right, and I catch it my nose, and I fucking go face first in the snow. And at first, I'm like, fine. I push my arms in, and they just do not touch anything. Oh my it just gosh. goes like this. And now snow's impacted on my face, so I can't really breathe. And I, I'm first of all, I deal with panic, but panic hit kicks in immediately, and I'm like, this is why I have the fucking beacon on. And so... I try to clear the snow out of my face, but I'm like pulling all the muscles in my back trying to turn over. And then the guy just comes up behind me, grabs me on the back, flips me over, and he goes, you should see your sound guy. My sound guy's upside down, skis kicking uh, upside down in the snow. And we just got the fuck out. We got on a helicopter and got the fuck out. I was like, this isn't safe. 